moment. All right, y'all. So, hello, 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 Raw family. This is your girl, Mello, and you guys already know this is a show called Raw Talk with Mello, the show where you only talk the truth, and it's on the rawest of topics of blue blues, okay? Blue blues. Make sure you stay in the blues. Everybody's clapping on the blues. I don't like nerdy, but like, I kind of like it. Blue, you know, like off the bottom lip. Okay. Sorry, let's read. Sorry. Anyway, I have the amazing and talented Leslie here. She is very skilled in many ways, love. Let me tell you right now. Amazing girl, beautiful, great mind. Is not afraid to use her mouth and talk, but also respectfully, but truthfully. And that's why I chose to have her on here as the first round talk of the year of 2024. Leslie, how are you feeling? Hello, hello. Hi, I'm good. I'm ready. I'm curious to see what we're talking about. But, uh, you know. Get into it. How are you? How are things? Um, I'm busy like a busy man. I was about to curse. Sorry. I am busy like crazy. But okay. to be honest, healthy, happy, life is good. Just I feel like everybody else just kind of has to find their flow. It's the beginning of the year. I'm trying to get my schedule together, my personal, my business, and just in general, keeping track of my house. Like, yeah, that part. You feel that part, okay. Yeah. Well, first, I'm just going to tell you right now, okay? For the raw topic, okay, I thought long and hard about this raw topic, okay? And I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be smooth. You're my perfect candidate, and I'm just ready to get into it, all right? Now, a couple things. The rules of raw talk, I'm just going to state them for the record, like I say for everybody, is... Yes, you may curse, just don't curse like a sailor. Please and thank you. Two, live your life, man. Enjoy yourself. Three, be honest. I don't have time for no lies. If you want to just skip, skip the question. Okay, I'd rather, I would respect you just skip, okay? Um, anytime I hit a boundary, let me know, just boundary. And we will end off or switch off or go somewhere else, okay? Because I know I can be a little, you know, prideful, okay? And other than that, let's get it. So are you ready to get raw? Do it, let's get raw. <laughs> so I actually named it because I think it's like so cute, right? But the, the <clears throat> top topic of the night is going to be bisexuality. You like it? <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Oh, from now on, that's how I'm gonna start saying it. Okay, no bisexuality, the community in general, okay? So we're gonna be getting into it. I'm super excited. I got a lot of questions. I feel like I got questions that everybody wants to ask. It just be perfect. You know what I mean? So let's do it. Okay. So for everybody, this is your first time watching the show. Leslie is actually a repeat guest because she love her. And um, I'm gonna be asking some raw questions. Love's gonna get her chance to come at me with it. A nice way, of course. We're not arguing. We're just having a conversation and giving each other's perspective. I may agree. She may not. She may agree. I may not. Right. It's just for us in the community to be able to engage. All right. So, first question. In your opinion, oh, she's already giving me the eyes. Like, oh, which one is she doing? Ah. <laughs> the first question out of the fishbowl is I feel like it's not cute. It's okay. I actually write them down and put them in my fishbowl, but I feel like it's corny, so I don't bring it out anymore. I love a fishbowl. What do you mean? Okay. Authenticity is everything. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay. So, first question, right? Okay. In your opinion, well, let's get right into the nitty gritty. In your opinion, which sex is harder to date? Which one takes more maintenance? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> mm. Harder, mm. more maintenance. More maintenance. More maintenance. I don't know. I know you're asking for like men or women. I get that. Um, I think we assume that men have more of a of a standard for women. Um, but I I feel like women do too. It's just not spoken about as much. Nope. You know. 
especially because girls know what goes into getting ready, staying ready, being on your P's and Q's when it comes to maintenance. So I feel like if you slack, women, they might get it more, but they also might judge you a little more for it, where if I skip a one, two, let's say shaving my legs or underarms or something like that, eh, men are just like, you know, they're barely paying attention on a good day. So I, I really don't know. I think we, in our heads, we have more of a stigma that men are the reason why we do things. But I mean, women also compete with each other, which is an, uh, another unwritten rule, right? So yeah. I would say the expectation is for men, but women will judge you more for it. I agree. I agree. Bloops, bloops, bloops. Sorry. <laughs> It's just hard because usually a woman won't say that from like that perspective. You'll get the typical, like you said, well, girl, men do this and when like, no, I feel like there are a lot of stereotypes for males and females. And I just feel like, or to, to if you would identify with either. And I just feel like we create a lot more pressure than is necessary. And we yeah. like to project it and vice versa. And that's the men making their own pressures in their mind too and projecting it on us to think it's what we think and vice versa, us doing the same thing. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should be playing Leslie on here because that's Mojo Dodo. She got that mind. It's be twinkling all the time. Okay, let's keep flowing, okay? Should I like do like a soft one or like going for the kill one? Like, how you feeling? How's what's your raw level at from one to ten right now? I'm ready. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> she said she was at ten. Oh, <clears throat> we're looking for my good one. Okay, so hold on now. Why do you have bad questions? Don't laugh at me. I like match my numbers, so don't laugh at me. I think I have OCD, but anyways, <clears throat> okay. Do, okay, this I really need to discuss because I, I have mixed feelings and I feel like I have mixed feelings because of just how it's displayed. So, Leslie, do you think you can tell slash see, right? What some, when somebody is gay or bisexual or whatever, et cetera, can you always spot sexual preference at face value? Like, I remember hearing people say things like gaydar, and I was like, huh? And it had to be explained. Do you think this is possible? <laughs> to an extent, to an extent, yes. Agree. Fully, because it depends on the stereotype obviously that you're reading into feeding into mm -hmm. i mean like sometimes you can look at somebody and be like yeah okay definitely lesbian but yeah yeah full on rug muncher that one but um <laughs> if you're a little more on the femme side i think it's harder to to tell because you just look like a woman in the world, who's to say, unless you're like decked out in rainbows and even that is not a surefire way of knowing anything. Some people just like rainbows. Um, so if you're more mask uh, female and hyper femme man, I feel like it's a little more fair to, uh, to guess. It's still a stereotype, mind you, because tomboys are very real. And sometimes men just happen to be real tapped into their feminine side, you know what I mean? But I feel like generically, you can probably pick up on those ones where it's a little more, I don't even know if you know the terms, you know what I mean? Like mask women, definitely. Hyper femme men, sure. Femme stem women, okay. that could go either way. Do okay. we do we know what femme is? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> if you seem to like what they know, it's just intrigued. Like, sorry. Okay. So, thank you. I did not know that. Um. So personally, from own personal experiences, which is why I agree with you, there have been times where I could clearly tell 100, 100, percent and I think it's because. It, I feel like it's all you only know 100% when it wants to, when, when it wants to be displayed. Like when I want to be perfectly like, yes, it is what it is, you know? Then I feel like, yes, it's really in your face. But other than that, everybody looks like every, any other person every other day. So it doesn't really matter. However, I've had have moments, like you said, the studs, the studs be good, man. I've had moments I've been tricked. 
<laughs> been like, huh? And you know, respect to her because she was able to let me know, like, hey, just so you know, and I was like, oh, great, thanks, you know, but like, pretty damn good. So you really just don't even know. You don't even know. And vice versa, because I've seen some top notch. Okay. Looking damn good. And trick as well. All right. So, yes, you really just never know. Okay. I think it also depends on um, that person's personal style. I know it's terrible, but I know this girl and she used to play, play a game way back in the day. So back when we were in high school and she called it mm -hmm. hips or lesbian because she could never tell if they were gay or if they were just hipsters. So okay. it kind of depends on your personal style as well. <laughs> if, you, if you have a certain kind of alt energy to you, people might often miss guests you know but it depends on your general style and you know the kind of vibe you're putting out there no i agree i agree i love it i love it okay let's keep flowing how you feeling you feeling good let's go let's do it okay okay it's how to make sure the laws feel new nice and comfortable you know make okay, sure okay how do you because this one is so important to me i've had a lot of family and friends and we discuss this kind of topic and i know it can be very hurtful and it can be very stressful but even if it's not some people are just like i don't give a get over it so you i want to ask how do you feel about individuals who believe your lifestyle is just a phase or it's trending to be gay and i want you to be please be straight about it like I mean, it's it's a hard thing because I came out really, really late in my life. Some people would uh, categorize me as a baby gay because it's so new for me. Um, so I think some members of my family are kind of hoping that it's a phase and they're kind of just like, oh, just pick a side already. I think it's more so like pick a side versus it's a phase, however, I know a lot of them would be happier to see me with a man. Um, I am in a relationship now, I'm very happy. You know, the ones who are down and get it, get it. The ones who don't, don't. Um, so no, it's not a phase. I, I don't think it's appropriate to call it a phase for a lot of people because like, if we ever had a choice, why would we ever choose the more difficult path to go down? You know what I mean? Why? Why? As if life isn't hard enough, let me make it harder on myself in terms of just generally associating with the general public. Um, traveling. <clears throat> traveling is a big issue because I can't go everywhere with my partner. You know, so wow. why would I choose a difficult path if I don't have to? If I could just yeah. coast through life, I would. Mm -hmm. So no, definitely not a phase. Definitely not appropriate to be assuming it is one. Mm -hmm. um, you know for the people who like to think that it is find a way to get on board ask questions even if they're offensive i'd rather you ask and have an understanding of where i'm coming from we can always have a private chat we don't have to come on live and discuss everything to help you get a better understanding but like just just talk to me i can explain a lot of what's going on why it is the way it is you know again with my partner she tends to be a more mass presenting woman so for my family, they were just like, oh, why not a boy? Like, I can be attracted to masculinity and it's not, it doesn't have to be a separate thing, you know? Just like feminine aspect. Wow, people are getting choked up, eh? Just like, there's, just like there's people would say feminine aspects of a man that a woman can be attracted to it. Right. The same thing. Yeah. Right. They're mm -hmm. not mutually exclusive, you know? I can be attracted to a woman and masculinity at the same time. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm happy you said it. I just wanted to see if the bonus was going to come out that I knew that you had, which is <laughs> it is completely inappropriate to term it as a phase. It is just, it's disrespectful. Like, I'm going to say disrespectful. She said, I think it's damn disrespectful. This is Mel talking now, Leslie. It is unnecessary. No one gives a damn about your sexual preference. So why are you all in there? But sometimes it is a phase. That's why it's in a okay, but this is a thing. For, for those where it is a phase. To assume, but that doesn't mean it's not a phase for certain individuals. For certain individuals, yes. But for the people who are actually, I'm speaking for the people who actually know it's not a phase. Leave them alone. 
That's you don't nice. think half the questions, just like hearing you, you don't think half the questions that you're asking them, they're not going through the thought process themselves. Don't make it more difficult. You understand? Like, unless you're going to talk or be helpful, don't make it more difficult. It just doesn't make sense. 100%. It just, it, 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 counterintuitive for both of you, for both parties, right? Okay, let's keep flowing. I like I love it. I see. I love it. Okay. Um, let me see here. Sorry, guys. I'm a little picky, but you guys, you can flow. You can flow, you know? Okay. Here's another one. I feel like it kind of goes with what I just asked, though. So, wait. Now I'm going to switch it up. I'm sorry. Hold on. I feel like it was, you know, I feel like it was too much the same. Okay. Do you find, because I feel like this is another assumption. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you find that people will assume that because you're bisexual or somebody is bisexual, that it's assumed that they have a bunch of sexual partners and they're always having these orgies and doing all these things? Is this true or are people just letting their own imaginations run? I've never heard that in my life. I have no idea. Did you hear, Did you hear y'all? Okay. I've never heard that in my life. I don't understand the association of more partners because we have, I guess, more options but just because we are bi and into both men and women doesn't mean that i'm sleeping with double the amount of people because of it it just as much as i'm attracted to both men and women as i said it doesn't mean that i'm attracted to all of them the same way like a gay man will be like yeah sure i'm gay but i'm not hitting on you right i'm not hitting on you i just happen to be attracted to both genders. Um, right. I still have to have a vibe with you, an attraction to you. Yeah. You know, if I'm if we're not hitting it off, what like what? Why am I just sleeping like with other relationship? I'm just sleeping with people because I can. And I mean, if that's your tea, go crazy. That's but bi has nothing to do with that. That's, <laughs> that's what I want to clear. That part, like just. I just feel like a lot of these things, if people would just say it out loud out of their mouth, you could get simple clarification and you'd realize. Okay, but can mm -hmm. we can we talk about that? Like, y'all, say what you want to say, say what you mean, state your intentions early. Because as Sorry, much as you her. think as much as you think women especially are fragile creatures and we can't handle the truth and this, that, and the next thing. It might take us a second with your boldness, but I'd always rather know than not know. You know, if you want to walk up to somebody and be like, yo, I want to sleep with you. At first you're like, oh my God. Let's see where it takes us. Maybe I'm interested. Maybe you kind of <laughs> survive. Like, but state your intentions from jump. We don't have to lie about it. Everything is far too accessible to be lying in people's faces. There's Thank no you. <laughs> no need. No reason. <laughs> ah, sorry, mine is like one of my biggest pet peeves. It is like the top Next. of the top of my list. It's just not necessary. It is a waste of time, and we could have gotten through this like a week ago. Have we just have you just talked to me and we just talked about it? That drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Okay, this one is so important to me just because. Um, I asked you this question kind of from my heart in a way because I had a family member that I. Like you said, baby gay, I just heard it took a long time to see relate to do it. And I felt like this person in my life I was so close with was too. And like to see the reaction of how much a toll it took to have to keep it in for so long, it really broke my heart for the individual because I really love this individual, like from the bottom of my heart, my family, right? So I have this question. And this is also for anybody out there that could be dealing with this as well, okay? And my question is, do you think it is necessary or mandatory to come out or can you just live your life? Absolutely not. It's not mandatory. It's not necessary at all. Um, I know some people, which goes back to the question, can you tell if somebody's gay or not? So I know some people, it's just so obvious that they are. So they mm -hmm. don't, that they don't feel the need to talk about it. It's not a blatant part in a in a flamboyant way it's not a blatant part of their personality but it is so anytime they've been dating somebody it's been the same sex so they've never officially come out or needed to you kind of just know which yeah. then i guess kind of speaks to the, the 
the the times when you can't tell readily looking at someone because like when i did and the only reason i did was to um honestly to speak my truth i didn't think it was necessary um it doesn't change anything about me or anything in how i was raised what my values or morals become now i just you know because i was interested in a person at that point in time who happened to be the same sex i just wanted to do it in an official manner so they wouldn't be shocked when they saw me spending time with them so for the people who live a, a little more freely no you don't have to come out like hetero people don't come out hetero ever say that all the time all the time like, but yeah. ever ever Ever. Ever. You don't need to. Don't. <laughs> Unless it is a special. Nobody has to. Like, I don't, like. The only person you why? need to discuss it with is your partner. That's what I'm saying. The only person you want people to look like that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it really broke my heart for the person. So thank you for saying that. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Okay, this one I love. Okay. Because I feel like people like to use the term DL a lot. And they use it to slander and they use it to be funny and they use it like for all different kinds of ways. But this one topic comes up a lot. All right. But they're allowing you to just knock it out. And the question is what would you say to the men that are on the DL and still keeping their wives as a beer? Is it okay? Is it something that you respect? Um, okay. Thank you, We're assuming that they're what? Gay, bi? What are we assuming? What's the we assumption? We're assuming that he is strictly only into men. For clarification. Okay. And but he currently has a wife. And he may care for her in everything, but he is not attached to her like that in any form. Right. Um, so if the the beard knows about her true authentic position in his life and they're cool with it, again, who the fuck cares? Thank you. There are people in this. Like I said, the only person that you need to be 100% real with when it comes to things like that is your partner. So if she knows he's closeted, but he yeah. really is into men and it's just easier to live a life where you have certain, I don't know, like uh, an image to portray and uphold and that works for you and your partner knows, as long as your partner knows, I don't really care. It would be cool for people to live their truth. It's complicated too in certain situations. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's not my business. As long as she knows and you know and you guys are honest with each other, who cares? Because, you know, then you get into things like polyamory. It works for people. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. fully understand it, nor do I need to. It's not my business. There you go. <laughs> I don't understand it either, and I'm not going to try to act like I do. And I have I don't to understand. Mind around it, and I just can't, and I don't have to. So it is what it is. I'm not, it's not for me, so I don't have to. <laughs> as I say to my, as I always say with my kids that I work with, it's my business, right? So it's their business. That's it. <laughs> right. If it works for that's them, do, that's it. The real happy, yeah. happy. That's it. Okay, I want to get a few more girls because I just love it. I love how you answer them. <laughs> okay. You guys be seeing me talk to Leslie, I know, but I like it. She's really good and honest, and I appreciate it. And it's, you guys can't lie. It's so tasteful. And like, I do it out and I'm not sure and have like a lot of fun. Let's just be here all through this Friday. Just be like, mm. and, just like mm. and it's just so poetic. And it just blows up like nothing. I'm here all ah, loud and stuff. No, it's so cool. It's so cool. Okay. Okay, so this one I think is another one that is an, assum an assumption. Wow, I'm all getting dry, I guess. Okay, do you find that being bisexual made you become a more masculine woman? No. I find that having to rely on yourself makes you a more masculine woman. Thank um, you! You know, wanting to do things for yourself, wanting to have certain things for yourself, 
um, you have to have a certain level of, I guess, confidence, self-awareness, self-esteem, self-worth, all those kind of things. Not to say mm-hmm. that's masculine energy, but the more well-rounded you are, I find, the more obvious your masculine and feminine energy become. So the way yeah. guys, like, you know, um, they want a soft woman, impossible unless you're a strong enough man. Nope. <laughs> impossible. And even with your strength and your masculinity, yes, mm-hmm. it might quiet hers, but then your femininity yeah. also needs to be well-rounded. You have to be able to be soft with each other. Like, it can't be one person hard, one person soft, pause, all the time. <laughs> like, you have to have a <laughs> Apologies, y'all. Leave us alone, okay? But yes. Not yes. what I meant, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Got it. We, I'm here. Both, I'm here. hmm <laughs> Yes, no. Okay. I feel like it's an assumption. Even me, like when I first started understanding it, even personally, I would be like, okay, so does that mean, and so then I was of course younger, does that mean that like, because I'd be bisexual, that means I'd have to be like more sud-like? It's almost like I didn't understand the differentiation between having suds, stems, and, bif- and like various other, right? But like when it's something that's first introduced, you're like, does that mean like I gotta like, like start dressing like a guy? You know, like it took some time for me to understand from when I was younger. So. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I'm smarter now, guys. I'm wiser. Okay. Don't laugh at me. I'm wiser. Okay. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. My question just makes me laugh. Why would I laugh at people think, oh, no? Even my brother, whenever I laugh, he's like, what? <laughs> Is that mischievous? <laughs> Okay, let me just ask. If a woman is with a man but has her fun with a lady friend when she feels for it, is this considered cheating and vice versa? Does so he it's know? still a side thing. Let's just be clear. This is still a side thing. Does he That's what you make sure we understand. No. Then yes. No. Unless again, you're in a polyamorous relationship. I don't know the rules, <laughs> the inside out of it, but like, hello, yeah. hi, you're hooking up with another person. How is it not cheating? How is it? I, I even know some poly couples too, where like their rules involve like, as long as I know, and it's, you know, it's safe and everything, do your thing. But if I don't know, we're going to have a problem. I've seen those too. The assumption is that because she 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 fooled around with a girl, it's not cheating because it's a girl. Yeah. So my vagina, hands, and mouth can't create pleasure. Like I don't understand right. why it would be. <laughs> like you could have done head switch. What? This is a dumb head switch. You see it? Yes, that's a real thought. Okay. You heard Lenny's response. You heard my damn response. Okay? Like and it's tomfoolery. Okay? Tomfoolery. And again, vice versa, I said as well. That it's tomfoolery. Right. Okay? It is she- okay? I don't give a damn. Okay. I feel like, I, I feel like t- today, if I had like 50 people, just 50 random people, and I said, write your definition of cheating. The things that I would see on the paper. It's true. And that's another question. Like, what do you, how do you define cheating? Yes, actually. That is a damn cool. Because there's levels to it. Some people think certain forms of communication could be cheating. It's emotional cheating. Some it's emotional, you know, it just. There's a lot. (laughs) Levels. Some people literally have like work booze and they would technically consider it emotional cheating. (laughs) <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot. There's a lot. Let's okay. Okay. A lot. All right. <laughs> you have to, we have to bust out of the rock. We're going to take over. Okay. I want to get at least three more in. Three more in. I know. Oh, I'm almost oh, out. I'll oh. let you free. I'll let you free on this here beautiful sun. Well, looking how fat is kind of beautiful. But you know what I mean, you know? Here Sunday. Right. Okay. How mm-hmm. do you feel? 
about the super, as people would say, super expressive or flamboyant men. Does it bother you? And let me give you an example. I have a friend who's explaining to me that she's part of the LGBTQ community and she was saying when she first came out, it was really embarrassing for her to see it because she felt like for her where she was at, because she was not able to be open out or display with it. Kind of like, you know, like jealousy kind of a thing. It was like, why are you putting it on blast? Like, why do you feel the need to have to do that? Why can't you just be whoever you are and you don't have to put it out there, right? Mm. And I know exactly what you're gonna say about this. Oh. See, well, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Like, sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it isn't. I, I mean, how do I feel? I don't find it embarrassing. Um, I think anybody being flamboyant in any manner is kind of a lot. Not to say that flamboyant feminine men are the epitome of it all, but if you're doing a lot, you're doing a lot, period. If, no matter what the form is, you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> um, it never bothered me. I know a lot of people where it, I think it's just because you have to escape. I'm finally able to understand certain things and accept certain communities. And right. I feel like if you're new, it will always be hard. If you don't take the time to allow your mind to be open or to open your heart to understand certain things or just understand it's none of your damn business, Thanks. you're always going to be irritated. Like at the end of the day, I just want everybody to understand it is nobody's damn business. So all the kids out there struggling, it is nobody's damn business. It is nobody's business <laughs> except your partners. Right. Okay. Right. You two then discuss and go from there what you want to do and how you want to talk about it. Well, That's it. Just like any other damn relation. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Um, sorry, that just popped up on my screen and threw me off. Sorry, guys. Okay. Technical difficulty of Mel's eyes. Okay, going back. Okay. What is homophobia to you? Have you ever had a bad homophobic experience and how did you handle it? Okay, so technically a phobia is a fear. So homophobia, mm -hmm. the technicality, is just a fear of homosexuals in a general mm -hmm. sense. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you can have a cautious behavior without being totally homophobic. Um, I, I wouldn't describe having a fear only because mm -hmm. the technical definition is fear-based. Mm -hmm. um, like, I'm scared of spiders, but I'm not a dick to them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, technically yeah. I suffer from arachnophobia, but I'm not a dick yeah. to spiders. So the okay. part where I think homophobic becomes homophobic is when you're a jerk toward those people. Right. Um, like you have to go and kill every spider in the world. You know what yeah. I can't even kill yeah. them. I'm scared of them. Why would I kill them? Me too. Yeah. It could be like this big. I'm like, mm, you know, no. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't mm -hmm. do it. Um, mm -hmm. And then in the slipper when it crushes, it's not cute. Anyway, sorry. Go on, girl. Stop. Ew. <laughs> um, I have had encounters. Not something that's like super blatant, and I almost wish it was because if you're gonna be some kind of ist ism ick, whatever it might be, I'd rather you be in my face about it so I know where to keep you. You know, I'd rather you mm -hmm. just be like well, homos, cool. Yep. Now I know exactly where to keep you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like um, that. So it depends on your relationship with the individual, though. Like, if it's a passerby on the street and I'm holding somebody's hand, and they're just like, oh, homos. Okay, sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. It, it means nothing to me. I don't know you. You don't know me from anywhere. If I see right. you again, I don't remember seeing you. That's not necessarily offensive. And I right. do, you know, as much as I'm queer, I'm black mm -hmm. first. Does yeah. so somebody say you to me holding a hand? is not the thing that I would find upsetting. If somebody yells the right. N-word on the street, I find that far more offensive. We have you know? a different conversation. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But when it's like somebody in your family now, uh, if you want to try and have a relationship with them, I would recommend a calm conversation. If you're somebody yep. who 
speak in person, send a message and explain mm -hmm. why you're sending the message. And if they don't fix up, um, sucks for them to be honest because it's not that deep um right. but I, I i do feel like people as much as they don't understand they're homophobic they do make certain comments which allows you to know where to keep them it's the same thing like if you call white people racist a lot of the times they don't actually acknowledge the racism mm -hmm. it's just certain things that trickle down right so there's certain yeah. feelings or behaviors or energies towards certain people um yeah i just it depends on the relationship that you want to have if they mean something to you try and speak to them about it also mm -hmm. though i think it's kind of one of those things you know if you do come out or you change your dating habits or you realize your dating habits or whatever the case may be i feel like it just kind of comes with the territory that you understand you might lose some people along that journey Oh yeah, I think that I think that's definitely an understanding. Right. Even any big life choice you make, even if it doesn't have to do with your sexuality, you lose people. You know. Right. So I could definitely, but, but I understand what you're saying. In this right. case, it is different. And yes, you, you the, the rate of losing people is a lot higher, sadly. Unfortunately. Right? Yeah. And it is sad because again, am I even in the relationship with you? No. Okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I might be annoying, but I'm gonna keep repeating and I think it needs to get into the non-yin because society just be doing a lot, okay? Um, I'm not gonna ask that. I can art, I know the answer to that. Sorry, okay. Oh, no, 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 let me hear the assumption. What is it? <laughs> no, it's a really easy one. I feel like you've already got to address it without doing it, but it's just, is it possible to love both a man and a woman equally? Of uh, course. Yeah. There's no, there's no difference. And we, and we you pretty much touch on that without even, so that was a quick one. Okay, so I'm gonna do two more and then we're gonna close this down, all right, girly? So mm -hmm. what would you say to those individuals that say you are confused, which you kind of touched on this, but I just wanted to be clear, because you like both and didn't choose? What would I say to them? Yes. Yeah. Like if someone hit me right now and was like, you're just confused, you. How would you handle that? Like, what would you say? If we're being raw? <laughs> yes, come on, raw. If come we're being raw. raw. <laughs> I'll take the hit for you, don't worry. Um, sexuality is not a choice, so I'm not confused. Because if we had our way, women in Toronto would not date men in Toronto. Gosh, fine. Sorry. Sorry. Y'all ain't doing enough. <laughs> Sorry. Just um the rep is pretty bad, guys. It's, it's, it's rough. It's, it's your rep is getting it's uh it's at like a two percent at a hundred right now. It's so sad because trying to hold on. It's just people. It's, it's just um, people. It's, not, it's so just, if anything, y'all keep confused. going. Something different out here. Keep going. I can hear you. Keep going. Sorry. Y'all are confused because you could choose better. If you could right. choose better, why not choose better? So that's how I know we're all confused. But one thing you know mm -hmm. is like confusion or otherwise. Yeah. I like men. Don't get it twisted. I like men. Me too. Sure. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, girl. We're gonna do this last one here. And right. then I'm gonna let you go. Well, technically it's like second last because you know I always end with the question. But um I hope that it made sense what I just said. I feel like it made sense in my head. But yeah, when it, I said I'm, it out loud. I'm, I'm picking up what you put down. You got it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> By time you guys understand. By the end of these things, my brain is done. It's done. Right. Okay. If, it, ooh, I forgot about this spicy one. Just end with a spicy one. Okay, this is another one I've heard a million times, right? And okay. it is, if a woman is truly only attracted, we're ending on a spicy one. This is a toy, okay? If a woman is truly, okay, hold on. Let me see here. 
Oh, sorry, guys, for my wrong question. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm, sorry, guys. Miscommunication. Okay. What is your take? Oh, no. God, sorry. I really want to end up on a nice one. Okay, 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 okay. Here's the last one. We keep it simple. What kinds of challenges? No, man. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I've decided. I've decided. I'm slightly indecisive. Leslie, I'm sorry. Okay, last question before the last question. We already had that moment, too. Do you think individuals a part of the LGBTQ community have always existed? What? Yes. What do you, What does that mean? Thank you. Because again, with this whole phase idea, people think that this is something that is new. If you actually look back at old dated videos, you'll see it. If you look in history, you'll find it. One hundred percent. It has always been. How long have humans been here? <laughs> humans. I'm shocked. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> I figure we end off a little simple corny one, you know? Okay. No, now, this is the last the crazy question. One. Oh, are you sure? Yes, what is it? I'm scared. Okay, let me ask. <laughs> Guys, like, I'm bold. You guys understand. I'm bold, but I'm also, like, very shy at the same if I find time. Effective, I won't answer it, but. Okay, yeah, okay. So tell me if it's like, are you crazy, Mel? Stop. Okay. So the question is, if a woman is truly into her woman and is not interested in a male, why, and I guess for you, what if we do think, why do they still feel the need to use the male phallic? Oh. Okay, that's actually a fun question. That's not crazy. Okay, I got to end off with, but I got scared. Um, that is a simple answer, actually. It's because the way the vagina is set up, it's a biological thing. It's just penetration in a phallic shape is pleasurable. I'm trying to be as PC as possible because you. It's okay, you, see, you can roll. You can, you, you can roll it out a little bit. I'm sorry, a little bit. You can roll a little bit. Yeah, it's it's just penetration is pleasurable. If you go about it the right way, consent. Of yes, course. the right way. Be clear. The right yep. way with consent, mm -hmm. and it's something that you're into. Um, then it's not so much about a penis; it's more so about penetration and pleasure. It has nothing to do with men. It's just men happen to have the raw parts. Of the shapes we're looking for. Boom! You guys heard it here. <laughs> you guys heard it here. I'm just like, okay, so you guys heard it here. Because I feel like people bring that up all the time. So if you're coming to men, why do you need it? I mean, if we're going to be extra. If you're not in, if you're not in, anyways, I'm about to say something I shouldn't say. Okay. Yeah, I think it's going to be the same thing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> if that is your forte in code, okay, for the adults out there, if, if, man, if that is your forte, then why would, okay, anyways, anyway. All right, guys, we're going to shut the shop down because I feel like me and Leslie are about to get carried away. Right. So, <laughs> caught it. I caught it. We're about to get carried away. So, um, <laughs> Leslie, what is the final thing you want to say to the raws and the extras? What do you want to say to them? Anything that was important to you at this combo? Anything that stood out to you? Or just in general? One, always a pleasure to be here. Always happy to shed some light on some stuff. No, I don't speak for everybody, but at least I'm one person you can speak to. Right? Um, the second thing, I guess since it's the topic of the whole, you know, sexuality thing, y'all chill out. Chill out. It's not that deep. It's also not, not your business at all. So if it doesn't directly affect you, which it doesn't, just chill out. As I always tell people, it 
it doesn't change the way mustard tastes. So what do I care? Mm, I love mustard. Sorry, that was a side note. But yeah. <laughs> I gotta tell me all the time. Yeah. Not change no. the way mustard tastes, so who cares? Yeah. No, I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you for being back on here again. Thank you for being the first raw talk with a banger topic for the first 20, for 2024. Wow. Mouth is really done. And I uh, know it's always a pleasure having you on here. You are going to see Leslie again. She don't know that I just told her that. But you are going to see Leslie again at a different time. Yes, she didn't know that. <laughs> but it's going to happen. And um, no, it's always a pleasure. You already know I picked it at the beginning. Very honest, respectful, and sensitive. I love it. I love it so much. And I feel like we opened all the eyes and ears today, if I could say it that way, you know, um, from both sides being kind of devil's advocate on both, you know? So I loved it. And um, yeah, that's what I would say I took away from it. The biggest thing, and I repeated it multiple times, and I don't know why, I should even have to say it again, because Leslie even had to say it again. And it was my biggest thing out of all of this. It is none of your damn business. Ever. <laughs> in your Ever. life. Just breathe the air enough, try to survive like the rest of us, you know? Shoot, find your spouse and just live your life like the rest of them, you know? Okay, guys. All right, we're going to be out. I always tell you guys two things, and that is spread love and always keep it raw. And this is Raw Talk with Mellow, and this was my girl, Leslie. <laughs> and you guys crush this raw topic with us. So have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye.